Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about macrame projects. At home I found the loops of one curtain rod plus I had a lot of twine. So this is what I came up with. I had a lot of these pieces. They came with this curtain rod, but I don't need them because this curtain already has their holes. I decided to realize twine leaves. After this realization, I found out something else in my drawer of the secret. <laughs> I have this piece of copper. So I was thinking, if I do a giant, giant, giant one that is hanging from this, then this can become a really nice wall decor. I cut two giant pieces of twine. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert here, I do a knot, and now this will become my giant leaf. We have our two pieces. We pass underneath the first part with this kind of arch and with the other, let's say, arch, we're gonna take the tail of the first piece and we're gonna pass it through the first arch. Ta -da -da -da. And now we do the same with the tails of the second piece through the first arch. And Clack. For the second piece, we're gonna do exactly the contrary. This time the arch, instead of coming through this way, is coming through this way. And now I keep proceeding one like this, one like this, one like this, one like this. Wow. It's day two and the progress is big, guys. Look. Woohoo! Let's finish it up today. I am trimming the leaf, as you can see the difference. This was the trickiest part, so I really suggest you to cut till the end. I am gonna spray a little bit of uh, fixing spray for the hair because I think, I think it's gonna make it stay in shape. First coat is done. I'm gonna do a couple of coats for each side and let's see how it's looking. It worked. I added this piece, but look. The second DIY that I decided to realize is much more geometrical and again is made with the same hoops of the curtain rod, twine and this time a big ring. First of all, let's prime. Gold spray paint. Ooh. Shine! <laughs> so, I'm thinking of doing a macrame, having this one that is something like floating in the middle with some twine cords. I am gonna open it up. Here there is a sort of loop. I am just doing the knob. No, the first piece. Oh my God. <gasps> I want to secure my piece of thread something like here. Now I simply have to go on and on and on and on. Right? Voice, I got it. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. Voice, do you think that I can finish this before the sun goes down? don't think so, but down. Uh, 
and up. I think I like it. Uh, good morning. I was DIYing till late at night and I hate it. I hate it. We're gonna fix it today. What I learned <laughs> from all my mistakes. First of all, there is no way that I'm gonna hang this thing in this way because look what will happen. Second of all, this little detail, I really wanted it to be like this far away from the center. And then I'm gonna stripe, not all the way inside, make it inside the small piece and then a couple of turn here. This should be the center and this is the half, so here. This is my first piece. Let's go on this direction. 10 loops. One, two, 10. Loop in. Inside the golden snitch. <laughs> pull, 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 pull. Voila. Again. 10 times. You got this. See you in few minutes. Don't tell me that is the same thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you wanna support the Sara Nena channel, please subscribe, it's the red button down there. See you in the next one, bye.